Hi everyone and welcome to Football Therapist where after analyzing the, the weakness of Andre Onana in Inter Milan's new, new goalkeeper we stay in Italy to analyze the set pieces of the famous specialist in the field uh, Giovanni Vio, better known as Gianni Vio. The former banker has worked for several Italian clubs including Fiorentina and AC Milan as well as English clubs such as Leeds and Brentford before accompanying um, Mancini with, na with the Italian, Italian national team. With press reports suggesting that he may be heading to Antonio Conte's Tottenham, uh, Gianni Vio may well try to live up to the statistic for which he is famous. His teams are always among the, those scoring the, the most goals from, from set pieces. We'll find out why in this video. Let's start with free kicks and more specifically rather centered free kicks. As mentioned, it is not uncommon to see Gianni Vio's teams form two walls in these situations, one just in, in front of the, the opponents and one for the back. The first wall is used to, to disturb the players from, from the opponent wall who will only see the ball coming at, at the last moment as the Italians in question will, will duck at, at the start of, of the shot while the second wall is used to disturb the, the goalkeeper who might otherwise see the ball by looking in, in the direction of the, white, of the white line drone. This wall will, however, disappear a, a little before the free kick, a, a little before the free kick to, to avoid offside after a, a possible rebound. These three players will therefore come and, and disturb the, the opponents on, on the same line of the defensive wall, which will notably widen the space between the two Welsh players uh, lighted. Now, the coming... The latter must now do two things at the same time. Look at the ball and look at their respective players to, to see if they should be left off, off, offside or, or not. The, the task will be further complicated, however, by the fact that the Italians are going to perform another of Gianni Vio's tricks, faking the free kick. The reason why two Italians are behind the ball is indeed that it creates chaos in, in the opposition stru structure, with, which often resets the, the offside and, and creates space in and, in and around the defensive wall for a shot. The Italian wall is now going to drop down to surprise the Welsh. On the second free kick, we notice that the Welsh refuse to position themselves lower despite the presence of two Italians behind them. And this is quite understandable because if they position themselves too low, there would be a lot of space in front of, of the box for, for the two Italians highlighted. In addition to the two players initially in an offside position who will come back to, to disturb the, the defenders, we will again find the feint of the two players behind the ball. The role of the latter is not Insignificant since the left footed Bernardeschi has a vested interest in, in leaving the, the free kick to the right footed Verratti so that the angle towards the goal is smaller for, for the player who will receive it because of the curve of the ball trajectory. Their feint uh, also broke the, the, the Welsh defensive line by pulling back uh, Gareth Bale and Conor Roberts, who will then reset the offside. Three Italians and only one Welshman were in the, are going to be um, in the path of the cross, including Pessina, who, who scored par partly thanks to his intelligence here. Um, indeed, the Atalanta player is its closest Italian player to the near post line, although he had already started his run at that moment. He therefore respected the rule of not projecting himself too quickly into the, the open space, which is going to allow him to strike the, the ball better because his run is not too vertical. With players getting in behind too early, uh, as in this case, the, this type of free kick can end up, end up being offside in, in, if the opponent makes a so-called offside trap. The, the best solution in, in this situation is 
Therefore, to, to play long ball towards the far, the far post, uh, as this gives teammates more time to, to react. Especially uh, Gonzalo Rodriguez, who won't be offside here. Let's move on to the corners, where I also not uh, noticed some patterns. Uh, indeed, Genevieve's team seem comfortable scoring from the area in, in front of the near post, uh, especially when someone like Rodrigo Bentanco, who is in, in, in enlarging that space here. Uh, I'd like to make it clear, though, that this is in no way a criticism of the, the Eurograin player who is surely apply, uh, applying an instruction here to reduce Mattia Perrin's area of action, since the ladder is precisely relatively small for a keeper. But if the yellow uh, area is so big, it's also for, um, for two other reasons. The first is called Andrea Petania, a, a dangerous striker in this, in this kind of situation, partly because of his great size, who's leaving this area free here by drawing the, the opponent in charge of, of marking him to, towards him. Second reason in, is the accumulation of three players at the edge of the box, which drew three other uh, Juventus players out of the, uh, out of the yellow area. So accumulations um, of players in, in a small area are, are a speciality of... Um, of Gianni who, who quickly understood that it's very hard to defend because the, the individual marking is rather complicated since these three players are now going to run in different directions. Then the number four Chanek here in grey is going to make a superb uh, change of direction in which will make the, the Juventus player in front of him turn his, his head even more. But that's not the only player I'd like to talk about. You can actually see that next to him, uh, Petania is also heading towards that, that, that area of the near post, uh, as, in, as is another player from coming, coming in for, from the far post. So four players are now perfectly lined up in the path of the, of the ball, while one player would be ready to, to take the ball at the far post and in front of the, of the keeper if needed, number 10 in this case. Another corner, but this time Higuain is occupying the, the near post area, so a player will run past him from the back post to draw him forward. The accumulation of players at the edge of the box is still present, um, with the same particularity. The players have created a, a curtain to leave Petania free behind them, the, the most interesting um, target player. Next to Petania in his number uh, 37, number 4, Czernik, is again very interesting because he was precisely redirecting his run at that moment, which he will even redirect uh, a second time afterwards to, to free himself from the mark. But what is even more interesting here is that it is not Hingoin who is going to follow the player who came to the near post, but his teammate in red, which will uh, leave a, a large space at his back. The spell uh, number, number 7 is then going to, to react very well by projecting himself in, into this space. So once again, a player will be available at far post and in front of the, of the goalkeeper, while uh, this time there is a numerical superiority at, at the near post with, with this uh, four, 4v3, which, which shows uh, once again that that Gianni views players uh, line up very well on the tra trajectory of the ball. It is important to note that uh, for these types of crosses at the near post, it is best to use a right-footed player li like here to, to reduce the, the angle to the goal of the, of the header in question. Having said that, um, a left-footed player can also take, uh, take corners from the right, provided uh, another combination is chosen as, as here at the Genevieve training session. The, usu this, the usual uh, option is a cross capable of flying through the, the 5 meter line to, to the far post, with players coming in split between different lanes. One player may stand in, in front of the goalkeeper so that the latter can't see the, the ball very well, 
convincing him even more not to come out if the ball arrives in this area. The, further, the furthest player from this accumulation of players in front of the, of the foul post at the edge of the box is standing ready to receive a pass out of the box if needed. Something we've also seen happen under Danny View when the corner is played indirectly through a second player. Guys, it's a wrap for today. Uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to, to my channel to make sure you don't miss any similar content. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, to let me know about it in, in the comment sections and to share the video with someone you know. So that helped me a lot, way more than you think. Bye bye.